So ta spent 10 years, as we just heard, researching and writing The Water Dancer, combing through documents of oral histories of enslaved people, visiting three plantations, including Thomas Jefferson's home, Monticello, in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. And you told me that you thought every Black person should go there. Why? Yeah, yeah, because... Um... There, there are sites of memory in this country that are very, very traumatic for us, you know, particularly places of, of enslavement. Um, and you say black people should go because white people are already going. White, plenty of white people go. There's no problem with getting white people to Monticello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it's, God, I hate to say it like this because it sounds like an expression of pride, but it's not. We built that place. Like it's, I mean, literally, like literally it was built. You know, and um, again, that's a statement of fact. And to go there and to see it, it, it is a metaphor uh, for the extent to which the country itself was dependent on enslavement. When you have, you know, someone so, you know, one of our you know, greatest founding fathers in Jefferson, you know what I mean? And you see how much, like the extent, I mean, this is a sprawling, like you can't, people think, oh, let me go see, you actually can't go see Monticello because it's so sprawling and huge. Like it would actually take you days to see, you know, the entirety of what was and to know that all of that, I mean, was just dependent. Was run by the enslaved. Exactly, okay. exactly. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.